up YouTube fam? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tapping in. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nicole. In today's video, I wanted to share my DIY statement wall in the living room. I am a super mom. My channel is for all of the super moms, super dads, super people out there. We juggle so many things and we do it well. I'm a mom. I have a 10 year old. I can't believe it. So juggling everything, raising her. I work a nine to five job. I run a business full time. So I'm an entrepreneur, a homeowner, which comes with <laughs> A whole separate set of responsibilities. I started my channel off doing like different home improvement projects, handy projects, to really to show my ladies that ladies, we can do it too. In today's video, I wanted to share my DIY statement wall in the living room. I think eventually I'll do a living room tour. I don't have color on my walls right now. I don't have wallpaper or anything like that, but I wanted a statement wall that really just makes the space pop and just kind of like uh, fills in some of the white space. I have been wanting this living room design for a minute. This was my living room inspo pick. So you see how there's a triptych. There's these two black and white photos on the outside. I, I, they're just like, you can't really see, like they might, might be trees or something. But it's just the idea that there's a black border on all the pictures, a white background, and then the center is this girl. And then they have like this velvet green couch and a coffee table. So instead of the velvet green couch, I did these DIY um, couch covers. So I'll show y'all that in a second. But, and then there's mine. Okay. Y'all see? Y'all see that it's very similar. Let me know what y'all think. But let me just show y'all. Okay, so this is the statement wall behind me. I'm gonna get another angle um, so y'all can see it from the front way. But pretty much what the statement wall consists of, it's a triptych. I'm an artist, I went to art school in case y'all don't know. But it's a triptych, so it's three pieces. It's one, two, three. So it's black and white aesthetic. Like I told y'all, it's... um tying back to the staircase that's black and white but yes so I love these abstract pieces right here let me try to get a little closer okay y'all so this is my statement wall right here I hope it looks symmetrical in the frame because it actually is it might be my it might be my let me put this okay I hope the light looks okay but this is the statement wall right here so this piece here and this piece here <laughs> I hope y'all can see it so the two black and white pieces here and here that are on the um outsides I got those from at home I usually go to like um either TJ Maxx Marshalls or Home Goods, mostly for my decor pieces but I have it at home nearby me and my daughter was like daughter was like mom like let's try at home this is an up-close view of the pieces I got from at, um, at home. So there's this nice thick black border. And it's just so cute. I like the texture in the piece. Like some of the paint is textured. And I just love the size. So these are square. And I think these were like $20, 20 to $25 each. So I got that one. It comes with a hook on the back. So I just um, put one little small nail right there and it's hanging perfectly. It took a little time to make sure things were even and straight. And I'm just gonna show you the other side real quick. Exact same thing, so it's some symmetry. Okay, and then this piece right here, you guys, you can see my bookshelf in the background a little bit. This is actually, I used to model, so this is actually a self-portrait. And it was originally in color, but I wanted it in black and white. So you guys saw in the inspo picture, the, um, there was a girl with this, you know, kind of like sensual, edgy look. And I was like, yo, this photo will be perfect. I edited it, made it black and white, and then I had... So this black frame here, it came from like Walmart. My boyfriend got it for one of his old apartments like years ago and it was just like sitting for years. So I was like, I'm gonna use this cause it has the black border. And then I got this printed at Staples and I just put it in. 
So this is a close up of it, of the photo. This is, look at, look at young me, y'all. Okay, so you can see, unfortunately, because it's glass, you can see everything on the opposite side, my fireplace and all that stuff, so disregard. But then my plant is over here. This is my plant that's been growing with me since I really started taking my YouTube channel seriously. It's like really healthy. It's pretty much taller than me at this point and I'm 5'10". So this is how the space is looking. I feel like once I got the triptych on the wall done, then I have my plant and my little lamp over here. I might change the lamp. I was looking for a modern lamp a while ago and I got this one here. You can see it a little bit. I got this from Wayfair. If I can find it, I'll link it in the description page or you know the description. So I got this lamp from Wayfair. I got this um, black and white plant holder, plant pot, whatever, um, from Home Goods a while ago. This is when I was starting the black and white theme. So you see, this is the black and white pot, black and white art. And then let me get back a little bit, try to give you a view. Okay, so this is how it's looking a little bit on this side of the room. Again, I got this plant pot, plant holder from uh, Home Goods. That was probably like $40. Um, my couch. So if you may have seen the um, changing my couch legs video, I actually changed them back to the original and I'll explain why. Actually, wait. Actually, no. So right here, there's no legs on here. I have to put the original back on. Long story short, the legs didn't last long. But yeah, so instead of the, the green velvet couch, I made these DIY pillows. I just bought one of these. This is a throw from Marshalls. I bought one in this color, cut it, and just cut two sides, and then just stitched it together. I think I used a sewing machine. I don't think I did it by hand. But yeah, so it's lasting a while, but it gives that black, white, green, velvet look without me having to have the couch. I was thinking about getting the couch cover from Amazon and I might still do that but in the meantime just to kind of save my little coins this is what we were at and it's another pillow here I did this cover too this one was just a pillow that came like that so yeah this was super simple if y'all want me to do a DIY pillow cover video let me know super super simple though okay and that's it. That's how we looking. Other thing that's two other things I want to share y'all share with y'all on this side of the uh, living room. This thing I've showed y'all in I think one of my other videos. This little clamp on tray right here. I got this from Amazon. I'll link it. it. Needs to be cleaned a little bit. But so when you're like sitting on the couch, when you're sitting on the couch and you want to put your drink or the remote, we put it here. And it it's not the absolute best because sometimes it can shift because it doesn't appropriately fit every couch but I think for the most part it's cool to have something super nearby because I moved my coffee table out the way for a little while until I figure out one just for space and then until I figure out what I want to do as far as a coffee table next but here it is I love 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 this y'all y'all saw the um inspo pick let me pull it up again okay inspo pick and right now we really just focusing on the wall art and then boom what i have so let me know what y'all think about my diy wall art i'm super super proud of it i've never put myself in my home before even the apartments that i had i've never put myself but now i feel more empowered that there's a picture of me even though my boyfriend was like so you this is your house huh but it's just like, you know, you, you like this picture too. So I just feel like it's like powerful. It's me. It gives me motivation when I get up in the morning. I love it. So let me know what y'all think in the comments below. If y'all want me to do 
um, uh, kind of like a home improvement video on, on this kind of like how to hang your, um, artwork. Let me know. Cause I can definitely do that. Um, or if y'all want to have a tutorial on the DIY pillow covers, super easy, but might be helpful for some people to just see it in action. Same with hanging the artwork because sometimes it can be hard to get it perfectly symmetrical especially when you're doing a triptych like this where everything kind of has to be even so y'all let me know but i love y'all so much i appreciate everybody for like subscribing to my channel rocking with me let me know please in the comment section which i want to see next from me home improvement diy decor beauty self-care how i manage this crazy superpower super mom super parent life let me know but this is so cute and inspiring and i'm about to go do my work for today got my coffee i will see y'all in my oh i will have a i'm out of breath y'all i plan to have a starting in september a consistent posting schedule so i want to do twice a week and I'm not sure which two days, but I will let y'all know. I love y'all so much. See y'all in my next video.